What's up everybody? Infamous Beats. Like you didn't already know that. Today I'm gonna talk about a YG slash Mud on the B O type beat. Uh so we're gonna be talking about like a DJ Master type beat. And uh it's kind of a weird beat, but it kinda sounds interesting I'd say, to say the least. So I'm gonna start right away and uh, open up the, the project. I've actually recently switched from uh, the pattern blocks to the playlist and it feels pretty good actually. It's easier to switch things up, you know, chop things up and so on. And uh, this is what the layout of the beat looks like. I, I just did like an intro and then a verse and then a hook. Uh, it's still a work in progress, but might finish it up and put it on my sound click too so this is how i did it it kind of it kind of i was kind of inspired by this by obviously my nigga so you know and uh this is what the patterns look like let's start from the basic the main pattern which is this kind of like a hit thing right here So as you can hear, this is kind of like a stabby, kind of low hit. And uh, what I did was like with the super low octave, like A1, with the, the lowest octave, I just took the velocity down a little bit so that you can actually hear it less. And uh, that way it doesn't have too much low end, otherwise it kind of collides too much with the bass. This is how I EQ'd it real quick it's a uh, well this is what it is it's a Mikey growl from the XP trap that I got and uh, this is how I EQ'd it uh, where is it at right here yeah that's it I put like some sound goodizer and some camo crusher to it like you know make it like stabbier and more evil and um, I took off some of the bass it actually has quite a lot to kind of like live it in the mids as well and uh, because it has a lot of bass and so that way I, I really need the bass to stand out and so when it kicks in it actually has all this room available so that was that now let's move on to well we were talking about the bass so I might as well show you guys what it, what I mean this is the kick this is the kick pattern why is it not playing? Wait, I switched it off right here. All right, sorry. This is the, the first kick pattern. Actually, I could do it like this too. Uh -huh. Let's save this shit. There we go. And uh, this is what the pretty much you just copy this and you just go copy, edit, copy, and then you go over to your 808 and you just paste it. And this is what the 808 sounds like and it looks like. That's a pretty evil fucking 808, if you ask me. Once again. Once again, like I always pretty much do, I used the Camel Crusher, British Clean, this is the preset that I used, it makes quite a big difference, like always, this plugin is really useful. What the fuck? And this is how I EQ'd it. I didn't actually remember EQing it like this, but that sounds pretty good, but this shit right here, I don't need.
obviously this part here is to for the kick to stand out that hits pretty hard if you ask me all right so now let's move on to the snares yeah boring yeah i mean come on it's just snares so you know look at the other videos look at the, the one from scratch you can see it there this is just basic snares nothing exceptional here let's move on this is what i showed you first and then we go to this kind of like a lower no higher actually melody to kind of like a ambient melody to fill the sound out a little bit and um, i've used this scissor lead on the xp trap i'm gonna play this right quick I want you guys to see the notes actually. How the fuck do I do this? I don't remember. Not like this. Ah, there we go. Alright, alright, alright. So yeah. These are the notes. This is a pretty I use like 16 bar patterns, so this is pretty pretty long. Pretty much it's just one pattern repeated three times on different octaves stacked up it obviously kind of fills this out and it recalls also this this melody right here to kind of go together and then we go on to, oh, what did I do? Wait, 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 wait. Uh-huh, this is like the, kind of like a hook synth that I did. I like what I did pretty much was, uh, I just kept the, the lowest two notes all the way. So that it kind of slides from the lower notes to the higher notes and you have that kind of weird sound which is kind of i mean dj master like might it on the be how he has his own thing you know it's like uh it's a weird beat it's like you can either love it or hate it and uh it's pretty simple by itself but it's catchy than a motherfucker i mean if you if you listen to for example like rack city Rack City, man, you can do it in like 10 minutes. And still, it's a motherfucking hit if you ask me. So, kudos to him, like everybody else. Everybody doing their own thing. And uh, I'm just trying to show you guys how to kind of like uh, pick up on the little technicalities and everything that they use. Uh, so, yeah, enough small talk. Let's go on to... Wait, and this was actually this... Flute synth glide. There you go. That's why I was gliding so nicely. Now we go to the hi hats. Um, once again, this is kind of like a this trademark because he uses like hi hats with uh, a lot of uh, uh, panning and especially pitch changes. So yeah, there you go. You see the pitch changes here, the pitch changes here, and then I change that up here too, and also the panning. What I did is like it goes from left to right and then it goes from left to right when he went on the multiplying. So this is what it sounds like. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of weird effect. <laughs> there you go. And then we have like this hit right here. Just kind of. Eh, this is just a hit. To add a little bit of high ends, you know, and uh, change it up a little bit and make it more on time or whatever. This is like uh, some some more. Uh, this is just a percussion, easy percussion right here. Let's just. Make this a little bit smaller. Actually, 
actually even more so that it doesn't really leave anything in the middle when it's not playing anymore there we go uh, and what I did is, is I pretty much did a whole lot of intro with a lot of percussions just to change it up a little bit and give it a f kind of a weird feel to the intro this is like this is the chant nothing exceptional here either there we go these are the chants and then we move on to yeah some more percussions just changing it up a little bit uh, it's the same okay and then what do we have next we have some more percussions all right and Rick Ross chance and uh, I've used all these percussions to kind of like make a make an intro actually I don't think I use this uh, well this is pretty self-explanatory and we are at the end of the beat so this is what the beat sounds like all together y'all can check it out and uh, I'll release the FLP when this gets to like a hundred comments. So love it, hate it. You want the FLP? I'm sorry, but you know you gotta put in some work too. And come on, there's like three thousand two hundred of you guys, and I have like six hundred thousand views on the fucking channel. So come on, guys. If you want the FLP, get to typing whatever. You, you can even write whatever you want. You know? Oh, it's a beautiful day. Oh, my life sucks. Oh, you're a fucking loser. Whatever. Just a comment is a comment. And you can comment multiple times too. So if you want to get this shit, the FLP, you love it, you hate it. I don't know. I don't care. Just comment. This is what the beat sounds like. Subscribe. You know what to do. Let go. Put it on the beat. Oh. There you go. There was uh, might actually put some more work into it, uh, but yeah, you know, it's just an idea. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Again, a hundred comments for the FLP. Subscribe. I'm out. Let go.